Hey guys, it's Lori. Just thought I'd vlog for my porch swing tonight. It's such a nice night, evening, I should say. It's 72 degrees and a little breezy. It's beautiful outside. So hopefully we won't have too many interruptions like trains. I wouldn't count on that though. I'm sure there will be a train. I'll have to edit it out. <laughs> we have a rail yard about a mile off the edge of town there. So we get lots of trains through here and we're pretty close to the tracks, as you probably know. <laughs> So, I'm just going to, let me take a sip of my coffee. John took the boys and Hayden to the park, and he made me some coffee before he left. What a guy, huh? <laughs> yeah, anyway, today's day 47 of my P3 slash 4. And I think what I'll do, I think I'll just give you a quick recap of my week, last week. On... Monday I did an egg day, which resulted on Tuesday in a 1.6 release, so I was real happy with that. I just ate P3 only, then on Tuesday, I'm not going to go through all everything I ate through the entire week, I'm just going to tell you that, and um, it was a good day with food, food choices. On Wednesday I stayed exactly the same. My food choices were basically the same as usual. You know, sorry with peanut butter, sunflower seeds, you know, just P3 stuff that I usually have, including a Cali kicker. Um, I nibbled on like a few Mac nuts that day and I had made, um, I think I made sausages. I didn't eat any of that though. I don't really care for it much. It was sausages for everybody else and I made some corn and some corn muffins. My boys haven't had cornbread just like the jiffy kind, you know, in a long time and they like it a lot. So I made that for them, some corn muffins. And I ended up eating half of a corn muffin with butter on it and I did have a few bites of corn. Um, then for supper, later I had a big salad that night with chicken on it and bacon and an egg. And I also had later, I had a package of four of those cheese crackers with peanut butter in the middle. So I thought I might be up the next day, but I actually dropped 0.4. And I think the reason that I was okay with all that stuff is because I truly was hungry when I ate it. So I ate to hunger and it worked. I think that's really important to do when you're on P3. In addition to, you know, wise food choices, of course. But um, sometimes I kind of Sometimes I get a little risque with my food choices and it seems to work for me. But after I tell you about yesterday, yeah, last night I knew that wasn't going to work for me. I'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> Thursday, I was down 0.4 and uh, I ended up having basically the same things I usually have. And I wanted an iced coffee so bad when I wasn't home and I knew I wasn't going to be home for at least two or three hours. So... I ended up going to McDonald's and getting, uh, I don't know how you say it, frap or frappe, whichever. I think it should be frappe, so that's what I'm going to call it. The slushy mocha coffee thing, yeah, that's what I got from McDonald's. And with no whipped cream. But it still, I didn't know that it had like chocolate sauce drizzled all over the top of it. But I stirred it up and drank it, and it was amazing, delicious. So anyway, when I got home... I had a another frappe that I made myself with protein powder in it. And for supper I had roast beef with red potatoes and I put butter on those. And on my roast beef I put a little bit of mayo and a little bit of sugar-free pickle relish on it. I really liked that. That was really good. And just a little, not much. Um, I did end up eating a couple handfuls of those penguin crackers because Hayden was here and uh, he had some in a bowl and didn't eat them, so I ate them. Yeah, that's a bad habit I used to have, real bad habit, so I can't let myself fall back into that one. And, um, yeah, that's about it. And so the next day, I stayed the same. So I was pretty darn happy about that. Um, okay, then, yesterday, Friday, we went to Monsoon Lagoon, a water park up by Lake Erie for my son Chase's birthday, which his birthday isn't until Monday, but we went 
on Friday for his to celebrate his birthday at Monsoon Lagoon and um, took Caden along too and just did like lots of walking around got lots and lots of exercise but I also had I had a margarita at the tiki bar which was really good and it, sucker was strong I was tipsy after one margarita I'm a lightweight you guys some of you saw me post that on the Facebook page but <laughs> oh and I did make myself a homemade frappe with uh, protein powder in it and I drank on that all, all the way up there I drank that on the way there and for lunch I did bring along food in the cooler and I had made some sub buns and I made them nice big sub buns they were so good and we, I just made subs on them you know it was all p3 for John and I and then the boys had it you know just on regular buns and um, I did end up munching on a few Pringles and a couple of combos and um, yeah, that's about it, really. I, oh, I had, had a couple of pork rinds. Didn't eat too many of those. Um, I had those little, what are they, 8-ounce, I think, Diet Pepsis. And I, I drank about half of that. But mostly I drank water. I drank lots of water. And like I said, I had that margarita. It was so ungodly sweet. And I'm sure it's the way they always are, but I haven't had one in a long time. And I'm just not used to that sweet. But it was really, really super sweet. Um... Then the park closed at 7, so we left there and we went to Chase's Choice for dinner, which was Ryan's Buffet, and I was so bad, you guys. I was bad. I had major food porn coming. I had popcorn shrimp, some fried fish. I don't know what kind of fish it was, just fried fish of some kind. Mandarin chicken, fried okra. I did have a salad. I was a good girl on that. I had a salad. <laughs> I had one of those big rolls with the honey spread stuff they give you. And I had a dessert that I made from the dessert bar. Man, it was bad, you guys. It was like a half piece of chocolate fudge cake with ice cream on it, whipped cream, and a fudge. Yeah, I ate the whole thing. It was good. It was just in one of those tiny little bowls, so I'd say I ate the whole thing. It wasn't huge, but man, was I full. I was so full when I ate most of this, really. I was pretty full after my salad. I should have stopped there, but I didn't. So, it's actually hard to believe that that's actually less food than I used to eat when we would go there. Yeah, how did I do that? Because my, my gut felt like I had a bowling ball in it for the rest of the night rest the night till I went to bed but anyway I got up this morning and I was up 2.8 which puts me at 125.6 that's not acceptable to me that is unacceptable I'm 4.2 above my LIW so I'm giving it the weekend to do P3 and if it's not down to an acceptable place by Monday morning, I will do another egg day because that went pretty well for me and I had good results with it. So we'll see what happens. I've been a good girl all day today and it's seven o'clock now. We haven't had dinner yet. Um, I actually have steaks on the grill right now, but um, okay. So squeaker wood, just so you know, I got through nearly nine minutes of video and my sound cut out. So I'm having to redo the end of this video. Hopefully it makes sense and merge as well with the first part. <laughs> um, I think I pretty much got through all my stats that I wanted to tell you about, but what I wanted to talk about was the GABA and the decision that I made on that. Um, I hope it's okay to mention this, um, Del Mem, if it isn't, if you're watching this, please let me know right away and I will edit this part out. I have no problem with that. I probably should have asked your permission before I mentioned, but I just want to tell my reasoning um, behind my decision. We're going to have another train coming, so I'm going to have to edit that sucker out. Um, uh, anyway, the GABA. Okay. Dumb M messaged me about it, and he didn't say a lot. Hold on. Okay. Hopefully the train's far enough away now that you can hear me. Um, I'm, I'm not going to read it word for word. I'll tell you a little bit about what he said to me. Um, 
to try. He suggested I try drinking a few protein shakes for a week or so. Um, I may be lacking in a few aminos, so that might be making me antsy. I'm trying that. I don't know if you noticed in what I was telling you when I did my recap of what I've been eating since Thursday. I've been adding in protein shakes throughout my day. So it seems honestly to be working. So I'm going to try that. That's a little bit more natural approach even than the GABA. So I'm going to try that and see how that works out for me. Um, if that doesn't seem to help, I could try the GABA or as an alternative, I could try melatonin or melatonin plus. Okay. I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to say this right. Theanine. Um, you can get them at Viacost for pretty cheap. So theanine is one of the components in green tea that has a calming effect. The melatonin, besides relieving anxiety, is also a major butt-kicking antioxidant. So, and he's never heard of anyone, neither have I, having a crash of any kind after stopping melatonin or missing a dose or two. So that's a good thing because I did read in some reviews that people did have some bad side effects from missing doses or stopping the GABA. Um, I don't know. I just don't have a good gut feeling about taking the GABA right now. And I just, I'm not going to start that yet unless I really, really, really think I need it. So there's my decision on the GABA for now. And whoopsie. And, um, yeah, let me show you what I, what kind of text messages I get. And people wonder why I'm stressed. Let me show you. Okay. John and the boys are at the park, right? And I get this text message. You see that? Yeah, that's my kid. Thanks. Yeah, he came home all bloody. He's all right. Fell in the stones. But, geez, you know, moms don't like to see that kind of crap. I could have lived without the photo. Okay. What else do I want to say? Anything? Oh, and there was so. just one other thing. Yeah, I think this is getting about um, long enough. Just granny. All right. That's it. See ya. People driving by waving at me. I was sitting here talking to myself. Anyway, just granny had asked about the Betty's dressing that I mention often. Um, it's not homemade or anything. It's just I buy it from the store. It's in a jar. Just Betty's dressing. French dressing. Nothing P3 about it. It's just regular French dressing. Sugar and all. So, yeah. That's what it is. It works for me probably partly because I don't use much dressing anyway. So I don't know. It just works for me and I like it. It's really good. So anyway, don't use it till you're on P4 and figure out if it works for you. All right. That's all I got. See ya.